Like most people, a man from Walnut Cove keeps track of the work he does by filling out paperwork. He then gets paid for that work. Well, several weeks had gone by when he realized his boss wasn't paying him. Yeah, he pushed to get what he was owed. He says the late check was short $3,800. That's when he gave Two on Snow's Kevin Kennedy a call. Work for David Brown means a lot, and I mean a lot of walking. We went out and either interviewed people or followed up on interviews. David racking up the miles on his shoes, going to door after door. I enjoy talking to people. I don't, I don't have, never had an issue talking to people. David tracking his every contact and mile when getting paid, it all matters. This time we filled out paper sent it in by email to our boss. Once approved, David gets a check, but it's never that simple, is it? There were problems. From the very beginning, we had, uh, we, we never received our time sheets or, or uh, our reports of our time. David went a couple months without pay. And my boss would follow up on it, and then she'd say they're working on it. They lost these uh, time sheets. The work didn't stop. The pay slow to start. It took almost six weeks. But then we never knew what we got to pay for because we didn't get a, a, a wage statement. David convinced his checks didn't reflect the hours he worked. Then I started questioning it and then got ignored. A few months would pass. David kept working and walking, but the money wasn't adding up. I got a letter finally from the head of the field division. The letter simple and straightforward. She said, you will not be paid. David positive the agency owes him close to $4,000. The frustration was the fact that they just absolutely said, you're wrong or you're lying or whatever they want. They said, I've got emails I'll show you. Rather than fighting this on his own, David calls us that step paying off. Since then, I've got like 3,800 bucks. I guess you won't be paid wasn't totally accurate. David even receiving something else. I think I got somewhat of a tongue-in-cheek apology from him. As for the job, he'd do it again. And if something went wrong, he'd probably call us. In Walnut Cove, Kevin Kennedy, Two Wants to Know.